All right, so I think the therapist is probably one of the most interesting um, roles behind the scenes of a reality show because I think a lot of people often say, is there a therapist around? Because with some of the people that end up on the show. I think they would be helping them. Right. I mean, why are you enjoying playing uh, the therapist? Well, I enjoy playing her because she appears to be caring. And I think she thinks she's caring and being helpful, but is willing to rationalize the compromising of her values. So basically, she's just like everybody else behind the scenes. Exactly. Exactly. Basically. It's, you know. I mean, talk about the moment when uh, she leveraged, you know, a spinoff. So yeah, can you talk about that moment? Well, you know, this is something that I had built into my character background on my own. Because, you know, you have to kind of build a character so that you can play it. And I didn't have a lot to go on. And I thought, well, you know, the only way that this person who is a professional would go on a show like this is because she wanted her 15 minutes of fame. She wanted to be a celebrity therapist and at any cost. So, but at the same time, you know, she wanted to sort of stay being a therapist. And, uh, you know, and it rolled out that way. I remember getting the script and going, I can't, I can't believe this is exactly what it's supposed to be. This is the scene that I would have written if I had the ability to write this last episode. So it was amazing. It was such a great moment because, you know, like, like the character said, not a, nobody does anything nice for no. nothing right. or something like that, right. I think I'm paraphrasing. Yes, but. We did. What kind of feedback have you gotten on your character? Have you have you heard from other therapists? Or? No, I haven't no. heard from therapists. I'm sure they probably don't have anything nice to say, but uh, I have heard from, you know, I mean, I think there have been some reviews that have said that my character is, you know, they're curious to see how she rolls out, what she puts they're curious about me because I don't show up a lot. Right. I'm in and out and in and out. They don't know where I'm going, which is great. There's some interest in me. But uh, I think that was pretty much the only comment. You know, there really hasn't been anything negative about this show. People love it. Yeah, why do you think that is? I think it's well written, well acted, and it's just got its turn. It keeps turning on itself, and it's exciting to see what's going to happen next. Just like I, mean, I guess people watch these reality shows because you really don't know where it's going to go next, and it's how bad it's going to get. Yeah. But these characters do some really horrible things, yet yes. they somehow remain rootable. How do they do that? <laughs> the right. I love her. Thank you. <laughs> so, 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 so. <laughs> um, what what do you hope happens for your character in season two? I, I try to watch. Well, I think it'd be great if I did have uh, you know the opportunity to try to spin off and do more damage in some way. That would be great. <laughs> if anything, and maybe you know be involved with Rachel and Quinn. Yeah, and pretty much everyone I know, especially with Quinn, are addicted to these shows. I like I like the outcast basically, the antagonistic relationship that would be great and get between. Always, always. Yeah. always. But you know, I think it's these things like that they happen. And so, I've never been on a uh, reality show, Quinn, but I know in I get research and talk to our producers, producers. Uh, manipulation. Uh, there is an app there because I do love know. it that is coming kind of forward people. because it's basically their experience. But everybody, experience experience but everybody on that show knows how to manipulate. Yes, they do. Because I think it's daring. Thank you. Thank you.